think your compost is good? What if I told you there's a way to make compost that actually rebuilds your soil and holds carbon for years, not just breaks down kitchen scraps? Most gardeners think they're making great compost, but what they're actually creating is just decomposed organic matter that disappears from their soil within months. Today, I'm going to show you how to create true humus-rich compost at home, the kind that transforms dead dirt into living soil and feeds your plants naturally without synthetic fertilizers. Regular compost and humus-rich compost are worlds apart, though most gardeners don't realize it. Standard compost is simply organic matter that has broken down enough to look dark and crumbly. It's useful, sure, but it burns through your soil quickly, leaving you constantly adding more. Humus-rich compost, on the other hand, is stable organic matter that has been processed by billions of microorganisms into complex carbon structures that can persist in your soil for decades. Humus is nature's soil builder. It's what makes forest floors so incredibly fertile without any human intervention. When you create true humus-rich compost, you're essentially bottling that forest magic for your garden. So, this stable organic matter, humus, actually holds water like a sponge, storing up to 20 times its weight in moisture. It creates just the perfect habitat for beneficial microorganisms, mycorrhizal fungi, and all those soil creatures that, you know, form the foundation of healthy soil biology. Most importantly, humus acts as a slow-release nutrient bank. It holds onto minerals and, well, releases them exactly when your plants need them. The transformation from kitchen scraps to humus happens through a carefully orchestrated dance of microorganisms. First, bacteria break down the fresh organic matter, generating heat and consuming the easily digestible materials. Then fungi move in, creating complex carbon structures and building the soil's long-term fertility. Finally, beneficial insects, worms, and other soil creatures add their own contributions, creating the dark, sweet-smelling humus that gardeners dream about. Creating humus-rich compost starts with understanding the carbon-to-nitrogen balance that drives the entire process. You'll need roughly a 30 to 1 ratio of carbon-rich browns to nitrogen-rich greens, but, you know, don't get too hung up on exact measurements. Nature is forgiving if you understand the principles. Your brown materials provide the carbon structure that becomes long-term humus. Dried leaves are absolute gold for compost making, especially if you can shred them first. Cardboard and paper, just avoid the glossy stuff, break down beautifully, and add crucial carbon. So, straw, dried grass, and wood chips all contribute to the carbon foundation. Coffee filters, eggshells, and even cotton fabric scraps can join your brown materials pile too. Green materials provide the nitrogen that feeds the microorganisms doing all the work. Fresh grass clippings are excellent, but let them dry slightly if you have massive amounts to prevent anaerobic conditions. Vegetable kitchen scraps, fruit peels, and coffee grounds are composting staples. The secret ingredient many composters overlook is microbial inoculant. A shovel full of healthy forest soil, finished compost from a previous batch, or quality worm castings introduces the diverse microbial community that transforms organic matter into stable humus. Building your compost pile is kind of like constructing a living ecosystem, and honestly, how you layer your materials really determines whether you'll end up with quick-burning compost or that long-lasting humus gardeners love. So, you'll want to start with a base layer of coarse brown materials like, say, small branches or corn stalks. This helps make sure air can flow right through the bottom of your pile. Now, layer your materials just like you're making lasagna, seriously, by alternating between carbon-rich browns and nitrogen-rich greens. Each layer should be, oh, about 2 to 4 inches thick, but don't stress too much about being exact. You're feeding biology here, not following a strict recipe. Moisture management, well, that really makes or breaks your composting success. Your pile should feel like a wrung-out sponge, moist all the way through but definitely not dripping wet. If it gets too dry, those microorganisms just can't do their work. 
But if it's too wet, you'll end up with anaerobic conditions, which produce methane and, honestly, some pretty horrible smells instead of that sweet-smelling humus you want. Aeration is the difference between fast, hot composting and slow, cold decomposition. Turn your pile every two to three weeks using a pitchfork or compost aerator tool. You're not just mixing materials. You're introducing fresh oxygen that keeps the beneficial aerobic bacteria thriving. Knowing when your compost has transformed into humus-rich gold requires engaging all your senses and understanding the biological processes at work. The smell tells you everything. Fresh compost smells earthy and sweet, like a forest floor after rain. With proper management, you can produce usable humus-rich compost in about four to six weeks using hot composting methods, though allowing it to cure for three to six months develops even better humus characteristics. Cold composting takes longer, typically two to six months, but requires less active management and often produces higher quality humus due to the longer biological processing time. When your humus-rich compost is ready, you're holding the key to transforming your garden into a self-sustaining ecosystem. This isn't just fertilizer, it's concentrated soil biology that will continue working in your garden for years, building fertility naturally and reducing your dependence on external inputs. If you're ready to see what happens when this humus-rich compost meets tired garden soil, make sure you're subscribed to The Living Soil Lab because I'll be documenting that transformation in upcoming videos. Like this video if it helped you understand the difference between regular compost and true humus, and share it with fellow gardeners who are ready to take their soil building to the next level. Together, we're growing more than gardens. We're cultivating a deeper understanding of the living systems that sustain us all.